<laughs> that would be such a good touch, man. Yes, I got you. I got you. All right, perfect. Thanks. Coach Brett, you good? How we doing? Man, can't complain. It's been a while since we sat down. A little bit. You know, you have gone through about uh, all four seasons of Mississippi weather since you got here. All four? Yeah, it's been cold. I've only been here half a year. Yeah, but it's been cold. It's been rainy. Yeah. It's been mild. It's been blazing hot. Yeah, you got I, I've got a little bit of everything. <laughs> I, I come from California, and we got a lot of earthquakes out there. Yeah. But I, I, would take, I would take an earthquake over a thunderstorm any day of the week. The thunderstorms here are scary. See, I would take 102 over 32 temperature-wise any day of the week. 102 oh, over yeah, 32. Oh yeah, man, give me hot. I could, I could agree with that. I agree. Yeah. I like, I like the heat because I'm, I go out there on the field and I just, it's an automatic sweat. Mm -hmm. My pores get opened up and I, I lose a little bit of weight out there while, while we're yeah, outside. That's not, yeah. but, so, so now that you've uh, been here getting engaged, you know, we, when we talk, it feels like two years ago, but it was really just a yeah. couple of months ago. <laughs> uh, you were looking forward to playing with the toys that you had in the toy box. Yeah. You know, the athletes that you were inheriting here. Now you've got to see them work and do some of your installs. Right. How's that process going? It's, it's really good. Um, it's every day has been a process. I think every day, every week, we learn something new, um, you know, about what we're capable of in this offense. And that's why the summer is so important. You know, we, we could see what guys do and what they look like athletically you know, from, from all the positions, you know, we're, we're seeing, okay, what, what running backs could catch the football, mm -hmm. you know, what, what receivers can, can, can get the ball in their hands and, you know, now they could catch it, but what can they do after the fact? Can they, can they run with it? Yeah. You know, O-line wise, who, who moves well on the O-line? How limited are we up front? So you really get a good gauge on, on every single position group in the offense. So I, I love, I love every day. I, I wake up every day and, and I'm excited to come in and uh, see, see what, what we put, put on display with this unit. So scale of zero to 10, and 10 being we're coming out the tunnel for week one against FAMU. Mm -hmm. You had spring ball, you had summer one conditioning, now you're in midway of summer two. How close is your offense to 10 ready to come out the tunnel to FAMU? Um, we're, we're getting there, it's, it's a daily process. I love where we're at, but um, we're, not, we're not close to where we wanna be, you know? And that's just that's just gonna come with more days and, and more weeks and, and reps. Yeah. You know, where we're at right now is great, and and where we're gonna be at fam famu is gonna be a lot better than where we're at today. But ultimately, you know, each week of the season we're gonna keep climbing and we're gonna keep getting better. You know, the Jackson State that you're gonna get in December, you're not even gonna recognize them. You know, being out there today and you know and seeing and seeing them in December, it's gonna be a completely different different unit because we're just gonna continue to get better. But to, to answer your question, though, um, we will be good enough September 4th to, to go out there and be very dynamic. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm confident in that. Uh, you know, I love coaching trees. I don't care if it's basketball or football. You look at, uh, you know, uh, Coach K playing under uh, assistant coach and playing under Bobby Knight. And you look at all the folks that have coached under Bill Parcells. You come from a, a pretty unique coaching tree right. uh, with that, with that yeah, system. system. Uh, right. what, are, what are some of the things uh, that you took away from, say, a Mike Leach yeah. uh, before getting here? The two uh, things that, that jumped to mind, um, one, learning from Coach Leach is just consistency. You know what I mean? I mean, he, he's been running that same system for, for years and years and years, and it, it don't change. And so what they go out and they practice every day, they, they do the same stuff every day. You can't, you can't get good at a bunch of things. You, yeah. you gotta pick what you're gonna get good at, and then you just gotta rep it over and over and over again. So there's a certain consistency that mm -hmm. comes along with it, okay? So one, there's consistency. And then, you know, it, as far as demeanor with, with him and his steadiness, that, that how he approaches the game with, that's always something that I've, that I've taken that I, I noticed right off the back as soon as I stepped on campus at Washington State. He's the most steady human I've ever seen. Right. You know, you, you see him, you know, if the camera's ever on him, on the sideline during a game, his facial expression, it, it does not change. I agree. He's he just sitting there, whether it's good, whether it's bad, they score a touchdown, they throw a pick, his face is just steady the whole time. I think that's important. And I think sometimes, you know, we forget about that as coaches, you know. Football is a game, you know, it's, it's meant to be played with passion and, and with excitement. But, you know, now you go through a game, there's a roller coaster of emotions. Us coaches, we gotta be the calm voice on the side. We gotta be able to think and process when it's all it's all chaotic out there and the fans are cheering and, and players are getting emotional, we can't have that, man. We got to be steady. Yeah. So consistency, steadiness, those are the two things that really jump out to me when I think about Coach Leach. 
so that's where you're from. Now let's yeah. talk about where you are. Uh, and it's just been a short time. What are some things you you picked up from Coach Prime? Yeah. Coach Prime Coach. is a is a very detailed person. So you know, there's certain things where you know we're sitting in here, we're we're meeting as an offense, and you know we're running a certain route combination. He'll give certain points and, and techniques on on a route where hey, you know you you don't want to sell this, or hey, you, you maybe want to push. Um, to this certain depth or you may want to tell him to do this with his arms because that's different tells with the DB So there's some stuff, you know that that will change You know the way we run routes or, or the way we teach the route based off his feedback that we get with the mm -hmm. meetings So that type of knowledge right yeah, there. That's priceless. priceless. That's one of the things I, I've noticed about you watching you work in the spring particularly Getting the installs going is the teaching component of it mm -hmm. uh, not just what we're going to run and how we're going to run it, but why we're running it, and the decision making that you need each player to make when they see certain things. Right. How's that phase of it been for you here, as far as the the, the teaching part? I, I think it's it's uh, it's been really good. You know, we we you know we got here in the spring and we put in the offense, and I think it's important to explain to players, okay, this, this is what we're doing, but this is why we're doing it, and we want to develop certain answers. We we talked about this before, but like in, in the spring, we want to come up with plays. And hey, they're giving us this coverage. We're going to run this play. They're playing this type of defense. We're going to run this play. You know, so that's continued to happen in the summer. You know, yeah. we're we're meeting and we're watching film, and it's like, hey guys, they give us this defense. This is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That way, they they already know the answers. You know, they they come off the field. They should be telling me, hey hey coach, they're playing this. You know, we should be running this. I'm like, you you're exactly right, man. That's mm -hmm. exactly what we need to be doing. So you know, there's not a time that you go down that hallway, that main hallway over here at the TBLS Annex. And there's not a player sitting in your office, two yeah. or three of them, and no. not just quarterbacks. Right. You know, uh, yeah. Just you know, everybody in the offense. Uh, how is it, how important is it to you that they stop by to learn more when it's not necessarily learning time? That you have that well, open that, door. That tells you a lot, man. It tells you that guys are hungry and that they're eager to learn. You're you're in here on your own time, and, and you want to get in, you want to learn, you want to absorb information. I'm all for that, man. You know, I, I I want I want our unit to be the smartest unit in all of college football. You know. So that that don't just happen. You got to come in. You got to learn football, and you got to take pride in it. Mm -hmm. So I want I want my office to be a classroom, not just for the quarterbacks, but but for everybody. You know, we, we got receivers in there. They're coming in. Yeah. I want I want the receivers to to listen to what I'm teaching the quarterbacks, yeah. and then vice versa. You know, that's that's valuable information for us to learn. So it's it's an ongoing learning process, and that learning never stops. <laughs>